Okay, let's take a look. This is the ultrasound circuit that Charlie C sent me. As you can see, we got the on and off. We got the button that uh, pauses it. And we got our potentiometer here, or our dial, whichever you want to call it. Let's get into the circuit a little bit. I will leave both diagrams in here. I did a point to point, so you can solder from point to point. And I'll also leave the conventional one in there. So whichever one you like to look at, you have them both. Let's just look over this real quick. We have our ultrasound circuit. Really not that many parts in here. Uh, these are just little connectors right here and right here. There's your potentiometer here. We have a 150 ohm half watt resistor here. This right here is a transistor D304X. And then right here is where it gets a little confusing. So let's go over this real quick. It's 18 turns and then it comes out here. And this one is 18 turns and it comes out here. Now they both connect together and it goes off over here to our switch. And we'll take a look at that inside the box in a minute. But this one up here is 28 turns and it goes around and comes back to the other side. That's one wire, not two individuals, but one wire all together and one side will come to the positive and the other side will go in here to the little pause button so just with that out of the way i'll let you look at it for yourself i did write a couple notes here this is a five volt circuit so you can use a usb for this if you've never taken one apart let's take a look here usb wires there are four of them generally in a usb the black wire is your ground wire or your negative they have a green wire which is a data wire a white wire which is a data wire then a red wire which is your positive wire which is the five volts so you only need these two out of the whole thing these two right here you don't need and you can just leave the uh, this will be cutting off of the female end here and this is the side you hook in the male end goes into the plug which goes into the wall so any phone charger would normally work here. So a couple notes. Again, I pointed this out already. The 1818. Those are both uh, into one. Okay, connected together on the out. And then the 28 turns is one wire connected all the way through. And the 5 volt we can use the USB. Now, I will leave every single one of these parts that I've sourced. I'll leave a link to them in the description if I can find it easily. And I believe I did find every one of these fairly easily. So, I'll leave it right there. I will take a picture and put it in here as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at our circuit here that we have in here. And it kind of looks like a mess. This is why I broke it down for you. One thing uh, I just want to point out, these two right here. See if you can see them. You see that little hook he made right there? These two are connected together at the top. Now this is a bigger potentiometer. What do I mean by that? Usually you get one full turn. This one I believe has two or three or four, something like that. It's a lot more turns in there than you normally get. So that's why it's blue and it's bigger and that's why you got to use this one. Anyway, you can see the wires coming in here. We have our resistor here to our line here that goes in here to our transistor. And yes, I did take a picture of it, and yes, it does match the parts in there. As you can see, we have a bigger core in here. It's an iron ferrite core, and it's two and a quarter inches or 61 millimeters across, and it's a quarter inch in thickness. So I went ahead and found that, and I found some on there you guys could order. I also found the buttons on there and the switch. Those are fairly easy. Let's see. I could probably go down each wire, take just a minute, I guess. So let's see how we do. Now this right here, he marked it out with the three, two, and one. And when you're going to look up the data sheet, it'll say something different. It'll talk about the emitter and uh, everything else. That's up to you if you want to look at that one and do it that way. This is just the DIY easy version. Let's just get it done so that we all have the same part kind of thing. So we can see the one on the left, if we're looking oriented it, 
right there where it just plugs in. You can see it right there. And all we want to do is take a look at it. We're going, this top wire here goes off to our resistor, which is right here. It's our resistor. And that goes into the bottom of our potentiometer there. That's pretty simple. This wire here goes down in. And this is where it gets a little complicated. It goes in and it goes under and it wraps. And let's see which one that one was. That was from the center here. So that's one of our 18 turns. So that'll turn 18 and go into we got over a little into there, right there. Just like that. And let's take a look. And that one starts underneath. Yeah, it starts underneath. I can see it in there. It's kind of hard to see. But I'm tugging on the wire. It goes underneath to start. So you know. Let's take a look at the last one, which is our black wire right here. That's this one. And our black wire will go all the way and go out to this little cap right here. And come off to our negative here. And that's going to be to our in. That's our 5 volt in from our USB. So those are those three on that transistor. That's fairly simple. Let's go ahead and take another part and we'll take a look at it. This wire here goes to our button. And as we can see, the wire comes off here, it goes down here, and it goes right under. So again, we're starting at under, underneath right there. So, and that button one goes off, that's our 28 turn. You see it right here. We come off to our 28 turn, it goes around, comes back out. Okay, this black wire here, it goes down, and that one goes out here. This is to our out. And this right here is to our negative on our out. And that came from that button, which makes sense. It just makes the loop. It goes in one side, goes wrapped around this core, and it comes back out to here. Which this is the part that goes to our piezo disc. So that's pretty simple. Let's look at our button here. We have one side that comes down and it is our red. Our red comes down to right here. Which this red is the positive in. That's your USB connection right there. Let's go to the other side of the button. Again, all, all these switches do is break power. So we're coming off. And this switch right here goes to our double where it's turned. Let's see if I can get a better picture of that. See the one I'm tugging on right there. You can see it's all together. And we can see from our diagram here that we come off right here at the top. And we come right down to our switch. That's pretty simple. So we did the potentiometer. We got the switch. We got the button. We got the transistor, and then we got the core. That's pretty simple, guys. This is what this is. So you got your in on one side and out on the other. I'll try to look for this little box because I think it's neat. I think it's pretty convenient. Works for this whole thing like this. Pop it on there. We got our on and off. We got our little button we're pushing. And this is the one we're using, guys. So as you can see, this thing turns a bunch. Sure, it turns a bunch more than I said it did, but I just wanted to give you kind of an overview. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over. I'm going to take a picture of this right here, and then I'm going to show you the uh, one you would use on the other one. And uh, I'll go ahead and source some parts for you and put them in there and try to link them up for you. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys understood this. This is the ultrasound circuit for our gravity flyer. So, anyway... Let's get into the rest of it. Here we go. This is our circuit. This is our point to point. Again, exactly where you solder everything and where you put everything in. And let's go ahead and take a look right here. This is going to be our regular schematic and exactly how it looks. So you have both of them. Please take a screenshot and take a look at exactly what we got here. This right here is our wire layout in case you want to use a USB connector to get your 5 volts. This right here is a couple pictures of what's inside this ultrasound box. 
and some measurements so you could take a look along with our transistor so you can see the number on the transistor itself. This is our data sheet for our transistor right here. Now let's get into the parts you're going to need to build this if you wanted to do it. These, all these parts that I find on here, they're on Amazon, so I'll leave the link in the description for you. Again, if you order it through the link, I get a little money back so I can keep doing this kind of stuff for the channel. Anyway, this one right here is our transistor, and the link will be in the description. Let's move on to the next one. This is our potentiometer we used in this one. Again, I believe it has 10 turns or more. And this right here is the one you want. You don't want the regular one. You want this one right here. This right here is our low voltage on and off switch. Again, we're using 5 volts, so make sure you keep that in mind. But this is the one that I found. This is the on and off button that we're using in this circuit. This is our 150 ohm resistor here, half watt. These are our wire connectors here. You can also source them at your local hardware store. This is our iron ferrite core that we use in this one. Again, it's two and a quarter wide and it's a quarter inch thick. Exactly what this one is. This is the 22 AWG magnet wire. Make sure you get the magnet wire. Uh, you can get this in a smaller spool for I believe $11 on Amazon as well. And I don't think you'll need any more than the smaller spool, but I'll generally buy a little bit more when I get to this stuff. And this is the last thing on our list here, guys. This is the little white box that comes in. You'll have to drill your own holes in the top. Size matches. And this thing's really neat and convenient. I do like this thing a lot. Alright, guys. This is it. This is the whole video. Hopefully, I explained as much as I possibly could. If it, any of the links are wrong, please let me know. I will change them. I can't change the video. I can change the links if they're wrong. Though I did my best to resource everything, and I believe they're all correct. Anyway, this is the same circuit that my T-Brain is using. It's also the same circuit that Charlie C is using. It's also the same one I will be using in all my videos. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw today, please like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things, and have yourself a great day.